Watch Asia Extreme with Sundance Channel on Free Movies On Demand. On Time Warner Cable, you can also subscribe to premium services like Showtime On Demand and the Movie Channel On Demand. It's Welcome to Time Warner SoCal News. I'm Christina McCauley. SCRS is changing lives for people with disabilities by developing programs, responding to their specific needs, and helping them lead healthy, independent, and productive lives. Jocelyn Davis has more. SCRS was founded in 1979 by a group of individuals with disabilities. Well, SCRS is a nonprofit organization that serves Southeast LA County, um, and we provide a wide range of services to persons with disabilities, all disabilities and all age groups. SCRS develops comprehensive programs responding to the needs of the disability community, enabling them to lead healthy, independent, and productive lives. We have um, a broad array of services. One of them has to do with housing which is really critical. We're always trying to support and build housing for affordable, accessible housing for people with disabilities. Over 25 years after it was initially founded, SCRS is proud to say it's met the needs of over 10,000 consumers. Oh, it changed my life. <laughs> this changed my life because they explain different uh, uh, things about medical, Medicare, and what is my legal position when the people is handicapped. If we can change society to rethink on how they perceive people with disabilities, it's not the dis, it's more the abilities. It's how we can focus on what we can do and not what we can't do. For more information on the services that SCRS provides, please visit www.scrspwi.org. Reporting from Downey for SoCal News, I'm Jocelyn Davis. Are you one of those people who dreams of winning the lottery? Or maybe you get excited about finding some loose change in the pocket of your pants? Then you're going to love this new bill proposal from California State Controller John Chung. Chung wants to change the unclaimed property laws with his SB 919 proposal. It would allow the state controller to use the internet, commercial databases, as well as state and local agencies to help locate property owners. Under existing California law, the state is unable to notify more than 80 percent of unclaimed property owners. When business and financial institutions lose track of customers and accounts are not accessed for more than three years, the account balance is sent to the state controller's office as unclaimed property. But at this point, if records are not up to date, the state is forbidden to actively locate and contact property owners. The most common types are bank accounts and safe deposit box contents, stocks, mutual funds, bonds, and dividends, as well as uncashed cashier checks and money orders. SB 919 is in a holding pattern until the state budget is approved. In the meantime, Californians are encouraged to search for their unclaimed property at www.sco.ca.gov. The Lakewood Sheriff Station serves five surrounding cities, and now they say they're equipped to serve citizens even better. Jacqueline Twegg shows us how adding nearly 20,000 square feet to their existing facility is enhancing our safety. Do you want to be contacted by the deputies? Captain Dave Fender is excited about this new space and the new designs taking shape. With this expansion project, it's allowed us to put in place the infrastructure that's going to allow us to keep up with technology as it advances in the 21st century and assist us with crime fighting. Serving people and streamlining communication are two bonuses. One example is in the complaint dispatch area where televisions and high-tech software are now taking center stage. Well, we now have a 42-inch screen that we can monitor pursuits on, and in so doing, we can actually see visually what's happening where before we were just hearing that. Down to another nearby corridor, these juvenile detention rooms have monitoring devices that free up officers from standing guard. Captain Fender explains now more manpower can be focused where it's needed, on the streets. The thing is the juvenile cannot be handcuffed or locked in a room. The doors here are audible, so if they step out, it alerts the watch sergeant who's behind the glass right here, or the watch deputy who's out in the hallway right here. On to another hallway, construction is still underway. Rooms here are being built in a way to keep the Lakewood station up to date and cut down on future costs that might come up. We're not going to have to open up the walls again. We're not going to have to go back and ask the city and the county for additional funding. Uh, it's going to cost us minimally. By fall, the last phase of this project should be completed. In case you're curious, they do give group tours so you can check out the progress. For Time Warner SoCal News, I'm Jacqueline Twegg. 
Thank you for watching SoCal News. I'm Christina McCauley. We'll have more headline news after this short break.